Kia's very popular mid-size crossover, the Sorento, has been a huge success ever since the second generation debuted. With the third generation Sorento that was introduced just last year, this crossover hits the sweet spot in size when comparing it to some of its rivals and looks to stand out by its premium styling on the inside and out and its abundance of features. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this 2017 Kia Sorento LX. Now the styling on the Sorento, I really do like it. I think it looks sleek and modern and I think that they didn't overdo it when it comes to styling. When you step up to higher end trim levels, you do get some nice added styling amenities such as high intensity discharge headlights, LED daytime running lights and chrome wheels. Now our trim of the Sorento we have here is the LX trim and it's one step up above the base L. And it comes pretty well equipped. It comes equipped with a rear view camera. And ours also has the convenience package, which adds highly desirable features, such as heated front seats, dual zone climate control, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which are new features for 2017. Pretty much the Sorento is carried over for the 2017 model year. Nothing has really changed but those added features. Now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle decent looking key fob you do have a switchblade you have your lock unlock your power tailgate and then your panic button now this color is known as the titanium metallic and you also do have chrome exterior door handles and you also do have a full-on black cloth interior with yes essentials seating fabric driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar. All right, now stepping on inside of the Sorento here, the step in height is pretty low and you're greeted with a pretty good looking cabin design, even though we do have a fairly basic trim. And I really do love the wood grain trim that they put on the inside of the LX model here. It gives it a much more premium vibe inside of here. Overall, it's certainly not a bad looking interior. Push button ignition is available on higher end trim levels. And what you're hearing there is a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder. To have a fully leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, it's your only gearbox that's available. It's a six-speed automatic transmission. You also do have manual shiftability. And of course, when you put the vehicle into reverse, this will display your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. Seventeen inch alloy wheels. Halogen projector beam headlights with LED accenting lights. Powering the Sorento here is your base powertrain, which is a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder that produces 185 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 178 pound feet of torque at 4,000 RPM with EPA estimates being 21 in the city and 28 on the highway. And we do have the front wheel drive model here. Go for the all wheel drive model and the fuel economy numbers bump down just very slightly. There's also a two liter turbocharged four cylinder available and a three liter V6. But we'll see what this baby can do when we hit the road later in the video. 
pricing of the Sorento starts at the L model, which starts at $25,400. The LX, like we have here, starts at $26,700. EX, $31,500. SX, $38,600. And the Limited, $43,900. There's also a few different packages that you can choose from, like the convenience package that we have on our LX. Now, competitors of the Sorento, key competitors include the Toyota Highlander, the all-new upcoming GMC Acadia, as well as the Chevrolet Inquinox, and the Honda Pilot. On the top, you also do have roof rails and a shark fin antenna. You can also get crossbars as an accessory, of course. We have parking sensors, which comes on our convenience package. Rear window wiper with a rear window defroster and an LED third brake light. Like I said, EPA estimates are 21 city, 28 highway. MSRP for this particular vehicle is $31,235. Of course, you get Kia's fantastic 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. All of your basic power necessities, power windows, door locks, power mirrors. All right, now getting on the road with the 2017 Kia Sorento here. Now remember we do have the base engine, which is the 2.4 liter four cylinder. And every Sorento is going to be equipped with a six speed automatic transmission. Now this base engine, the 2.4 liter four cylinder, really isn't meant for a vehicle of this size. Um, it's a little underpowered here. I would certainly step up to the V6 engine. The turbocharged four-cylinder that you can get on the Sorento provides an okay amount of power, but what you really want is that V6. It certainly provides the power that's needed for this vehicle. The six-speed automatic transmission we have here also shifts very smoothly, and it's very responsive with this powertrain, I have to say. Now this four cylinder is also quite buzzy at times, especially when you rev it to higher RPMs. But the interior noise of this car, it's kept pretty quiet at highway speeds. Um, it's actually very comfortable to drive as well, and it provides a very smooth and comfortable ride quality that's great for everyday family use. Now, the steering and the handling is certainly not the Sorento's expertise but you do have three different driving modes here we do have the eco mode a sport mode and that's it and then your normal mode however there's really not a whole lot of differentiation between the different driving modes I didn't notice a whole lot of difference between them and that's with many other Kia vehicles there are different driving modes don't really do a whole lot now one thing I will say is that the Sorento really does have a good balance between decent ride quality and good handling too. And the ride comfort is very comfortable, like I said earlier, and the handling, while it's not the sportiest crossover in the midsize crossover class, it still has a decent amount of feedback and it feels somewhat nimble around corners but this is not the sports car of the midsize crossovers but this vehicle is still very easy to drive and it has a very easy to live with nature and I think the Sorento nails it when it comes to an everyday kind of vehicle so overall, if you are looking for a mid-size crossover that provides a very easy to live with kind of nature, then the Sorento really fits the bill. But just remember to go with the V6 engine as it provides the power that is needed for this vehicle. 
interior quality is pretty competitive with the Sorento against other mid-size crossovers. Soft touch materials do abound throughout the whole entire vehicle. You will find them on the armrest, the upper door panel, and on top of the dashboard as well. You have also this nice molded stitching which gives it a slightly more premium vibe inside of here. Build quality is pretty good. No interior trim and pieces creak and they do fit pretty nicely. All in all, interior quality is certainly on par with the rest of the class. The stairwell design in the Sorento is actually pretty sporty looking and I really like it. And coming over here, we do have your stairwell mounted audio controls, Bluetooth phone controls, voice recognition, and then you have your cruise control and then your buttons for your information center, which I'll get to in just a minute. You also do have your intermittent windshield wipers as well. And over here, you will find your gauge brightness and then your traction control off button. Down here you will find a little storage cubby, a USB charging port, auxiliary input, and two 12 volt power outlets with a sliding lid. And then you also do have dual cup holders. And this is where you select your different drive modes, which I'll get more in depth on when we test drive the car. Your parking sensors off button. And right here, the center console storage is pretty good. Um, you do have a USB charging port right here, which is nice. And then you have this tray right here too. And the center console lid is also nice and soft touch, of course. And we do have heated seats that are three-staged for the driver and the passenger. Like I said, this does come on the LX convenience package. Auto dimming rearview mirror, sunglass container, and your map lights. Higher end trim levels do get LED map lights. Coming to your climate controls, we do have dual zone automatic climate control. Um, you have your temperatures with the dials right here and your fan speeds, your different zones. Pretty easy to figure out, pretty easy to operate as well. And then you have your front window defroster and your rear window defroster. The seats in the Sorento are also very comfortable. They're nice and plush, great for long road trips, and they provide a pretty good amount of support. Thigh support is also not too shabby either. The Sorento also offers a lot of the latest features that you can get on modern vehicles nowadays, such as a panoramic sunroof, blind spot detection, lane departure warning, and adaptive cruise control. Now, coming to the gauges in the instrument cluster, they're decent looking gauges. I really do love the instrument cluster that you get on the SX trims, but over here we have your tachometer and then your coolant temperature on the right we also do have your fuel gauge and your speedometer coming in the center right there basically shows you have various amounts of vehicle information pretty basic information though you also do have your fuel range average fuel economy gives you a bar graph your trip odometer digital speedometer then over here it shows you what radio station is playing then you have your tire pressure monitoring, service intervals, and user settings such as your doors and your tailgate, your seat and your steering, other features, lights, all that good stuff. And then you have your exterior temperature readout down there, and then your odometers down on the lower right hand corner. Now let's get to the infotainment system and the main head unit. Now this is a touchscreen here, and the only features that were added for the 2017 model year were Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Now, your different radio sources do include all of the norm. We do have AM, FM, and Sirius XM satellite radio. You also do have HD radio too. And you can also do iTunes tagging if you would like. Then you have your USB ports with iPod integration, Bluetooth, streaming audio, all that good stuff. And then you also do have a CD player. A lot of vehicles are starting to get rid of that nowadays. Coming to apps and info, shows you your Pandora. You can also control your climate from here if you don't want to do it by the physical buttons down here. And then you have your Series XM data, SoundHound, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, voice commands. And then this is your home screen right here. Then you have your Uvo. Gives you your Uvo e-services that you subscribe to, and then you have your roadside assistance, vehicle diagnostics, um, parking minder, your My Car Zone. Then you have your setup. There's many different settings that you can change here from the display, the sound, and then the phone. You also do have a Wi-Fi hotspot and connectivity. 
And of course, you can also hook up your Bluetooth phone, have all of your contacts stored on here and have an integrated dial pad. And then up here, it shows you the date and then the time. Overall, love this little touchscreen here and it does work fairly well. And the responsiveness is also excellent too. And I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the Sorento. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Build quality and materials do follow through in the rear. Now these second row seats in the Sorento also do recline and you do have the option for a third row. As you can see, ours is equipped with a third row. However, it's really recommended that it's only used for small children. Now sitting back here, there's a decent amount of leg room. There's also a pretty good amount of headroom as well. And thigh support on these seats are okay too. Not too shabby. You have dual map pockets back here, rear air vents, and a USB charging port as well as a 12 volt power outlet. And you have your rear center armrest with cup holders. The seats are a little firm. That's my only complaint back here, but overall it's a pretty comfortable experience. You can also get rear sunshades back here too. And the panoramic sunroof and heated rear seats. All right. Now the third row seats do fold down in the Sorento. And with the seats up, as you can see, you don't get that much cargo space. But when you fold the seats down, you do get a decent amount of cargo space back here in the Sorento. And yeah, then you also do have a 12 volt power outlet right here. Full manual passenger seat, glove box compartment. So if you're looking for a mid-size crossover that has a very easy to live with nature, has a very lengthy warranty, and offers premium features, and has a 